with that being said, we're going to move on to our third and final main topic today. Shane, you seen my shirt. We are getting closer. We are, what, less than two weeks away now? It's uh, uh, November 11th, I believe. I think that's three weeks. Three weeks. So then we're three weeks away from finally seeing Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And I couldn't be more excited and today or yesterday i should say or this morning last night whatever depends on where you're at we got another what i would say is probably going to be our one of our last trailers or uh, teasers or whatever you want to call it for black panther wakanda forever and in this one we get a lot more of namor um mm -hmm. what his kind of intentions are what's going on he looks awesome the actor i don't know who this guy is but he looks like he's means business and he's serious and i love that um then we get to see what looks like shiri in the black panther costume looks badass i love Loved it. Um, loved the gold. Um, she looks great. I, 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 I hope that um, this movie is as good as it looks. These teasers, as we get closer and closer, just keep getting me more excited. Um, the Namor stuff looks really deep. It looks... Um, you know, very story driven. It looks like there's a lot of emotion behind um, the things. Again, we talked about this a little bit before about, you know, his story, his people, his duty, the things he has to do. And you can really see that in this or feel that in this uh, this new teaser. Um, there's the scene where he's kind of telling the mom, you know, like, hey, you know, thrones open so I, I i ain't got a choice but to come for it you know and and that in itself is kind of like scary because again like how do you you know say that to somebody and and mean it but also be like respectful to them in this conversation and not just like attack them and kill them you know it's just, just that is scary because again um this isn't about hurting people this is about what he has to do and he has no choice kind of is the way he sees it and i think that's awesome so um yeah seeing shiri in the black panther suit is also really cool um um as you know shane mentioned there's the comic where shiri actually becomes black panther a uh, man you know since it's so unique and different i feel like i'm gonna have to get me like something shiri black panther when it comes out maybe i have to get me a figurine to put up here with hulk and vision and captain uh marvel she's she's a lonely girl up there so so maybe i get something uh with her like on the throne or something would be awesome but i really dig that costume with, with her in it like i don't know what it was for me but i just thought it was kind of uh different to see a female body in that black panther costume it's just so different uh, it's you know it's it's just such a different dynamic i think um uh obviously you know women are you know uh, Letitia wright is much more smaller and sleek um she looks more like a ninja like she could probably flip around and do a lot of different stuff that t'challa probably couldn't quite do um and then obviously shiri has like all the technology right i mean she made the black panther suit so who knows what the hell else she's made and what she's got up her sleeve um that also being said um we seen ironheart right we got to see a little glimpse of the full suit and her you know unloading some some shit onto um uh namor so that looks awesome looks like a ton of fun um this this movie is exciting man i still am shopping for my all white um i i am still trying to prepare myself for how much i'm going to cry during this thing um yeah if, if if they should do anything for this one they should do like boxes of black panther tissues up at the, <laughs> at the amc counter so everyone could prepare for what they're really going to go through so um yeah i do have exclusive information on the black panther popcorn bucket i guess i should have got it so i could have just showed it off you. here on the show yeah, huh? right uh, but it is like it's kind of like a stone um, pillar, what a pillar would be made out of. But it's got like carvings, like uh, ancestral mm -hmm. uh, African Black Panther carvings, and it looks like a stone, uh, you know, statue that would be holding up a building. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, cool. It also lights up. Like you press the button, Whoa. and the stuff that um, is written into it, inscribed, all lights up. In oh, that. that pissed me off at the movie theater. Everyone, every row is just lighting up. <laughs> it's like I just want to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah, but yeah, it looks, it, it looks freaking awesome. Like it, it's a, it's a cool. It looks like it's made out of stone, um, and yeah, it lights up that like that Wakanda kind of color there that they're. Um, if you guys remember when they show there, uh, they have these tattoos. I don't even remember seeing it, but they have these tattoos that 
uh, glow when they and they're mm. on their lip, and that's how you know if some if they're really Wakandan because mm. when they're born, they put that on them, and uh, yeah, it lights up like that color. That's really um, cool. Yeah, so it, it, it looks awesome. Um, so there's your little sneak peek on the uh, popcorn bucket. I don't know what the cocktail is, but I'm sure it's gonna be there for Marvel for this movie, and I'm sure it's gonna be like a deep blackish purple. You could take that to the bank. It's gonna be like a deep. I think it'll purple. be based on Namor. They will have probably two. Ooh. So they'll probably have a Namor drink and a Black Panther uh, drink. Um, just like, you know, um, they had for uh, Batman versus Superman. Or even uh, with the Batman, when it came out, they had a um, the Batman drink. And then they had a, um, I'm sorry, what's her name? The Catwoman mm -hmm. drink. And then I actually think they had a Riddler drink, too. So they might have had three with that. Um, so they sometimes do that. I bet they probably do, too, with this. It would make mm -hmm. sense. And then, yeah, I'm excited for that. Like I said, that way of the water uh, cocktail. It's got to be like some sort of blue watery looking mm -hmm. thing, right? Right? Yeah. So super exciting. Um, glad to see that there's an, this another uh, new teaser. Um, uh, glad to know that we know a little bit more about, you know, uh, Namor's intentions, how he truly feel. There was always um, this little bit of theory of like, maybe Namor's like trying to help um, Wakanda keep from these things. No, Namor is not trying to help Wakanda, guys. Uh, Namor is coming for the throne. The throne's empty and he's going to take it. There's also a shot in the scene, Shane, you don't know him, but M'Baku is kind of like, um, we see in the first movie, he challenges uh, Black Panther for the title, for the throne, and they have to have a combat, like hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he beats the he beats him and like at the very last moment T'Challa wins. Mm. Um, so, and he's huge. He's a, he's probably six, five, you and know, two sixty. and we see a shot in the trailer of him jump down with his big, this old wooden, like mallet thing that he's, you know, had since, you know, for who knows how long it's been passed down. And he hits Namor in the back from this, giant leap you know and again he's like twice the size of namor and he hits him in the back and his mallet just shatters and namor just turns and then we cut to another scene that you can see they added for this moment where um and baku goes that's not good mm -hmm. and and it's it's so great and it and it tells a lot it's very telling again because Mbaku is this big strong character that we love and we can trust to to defend wakanda but then we see him you know break his little thing on, you know, like, like it's nothing. And Namor's just like, dude, did you just flick me or something? What is that? And that in itself, again, I, I thought it added a lot to uh, uh, my excitement, uh, my anticipation for the movie to know that, again, this guy means business. And he's he's not no, he's not going to be taken down very easily, man. Like, it's going to, we've heard rumors that there's multiple Black Panthers in the movie that, you know, not just Shiri, but maybe M'Baku and, and all these other people have to put on a Black Panther suit in order to, you know, um, defeat namor i think it's gonna take that i think it's gonna take a lot of black panthers we we may see more than that yeah um but there's gonna be a lot of things needed to be done in order to keep namor from taking that throne i can assure you that um this trailer looks good shane you've had a chance to check it out what are your thoughts on the trailer man you know i love the first trailer you know you really kind of got yeah. the atmosphere and you know, the type of mood they were setting. I thought that was really cool. And, I, you know, I really wanted to know how they were going to incorporate Namor. So after seeing this trailer, you know, again, it's just a trailer. You can only get so much. But, you know, I am a little, you know, uh, maybe, I don't want to say concerned, but, you know, maybe a little not feeling it based on Namor kind of being this more strict villain of, oh, I'm going to take the throne because, you know, one thing I love about Namor, and I talked about this before, he's one of those cursed Marvel characters. He's just trying to protect his sea kingdom. And, you know, anytime he appears in the comics is because humans are messing up, you know, we're polluting the oceans or doing any of these things. So, you know, I kind of see it a little weird that the first time Namor pops up, it's so he can take Wakanda's crown. You know, he wants right. the throne of Wakanda rather than trying to help my people. Or And again, you know, that's why we need to watch the movie. Yeah, we don't know yeah, the context. We don't, we, we don't know. know it could totally be that, right? Yeah. He could realize that, like, you know, this being dormant is a chance for me to help my people. That's you true. Know, we're underwater. We're suppressed or whatever. We don't know mm -hmm. their story. So. so, again, yeah, I'm really wanting to find mm -hmm. out what Namor's purpose is, not just because I know he's not going to just but you be can, a villain. But you could feel, right, Shane, from this movie that whatever it is, there is it. The, the, yeah. that, that purpose exists. 
exists. I hope so. I mean, you yes. can tell in the performance. Yes, in the performance again, that, alone, you could just feel that he feels what this character feels. But again, that feels. could be an actor that. doing his homework. Yeah, and for creating sure. Subtext and being a really good actor being, too. Yeah. yeah, rather than that actually. But being even that in itself in is, uh, is you know. Uh, encouraging, right? Mm-hmm. To see that as long as they don't, make I don't him even know this guy. Yeah, I've never heard of this guy. Me never neither. seen him before. And and when I first, you know, yeah, it, it's it's a, a testament to all these things. You know, we just talked about on the show. Sasha Baron Cohen is playing Mephisto. Mm-hmm. You know, every time there's this new thing, it's this new. You know, it's this big name, That's right? True. But in but this case, Namor, right, we got this no person that we don't know, but looks like he's giving it his all. Mm-hmm. And I love that though. Yeah, so I'm interested to see. I mean, it does kind of ask some questions to draw you into the theater, but it definitely leaves me hoping they handle Namor right. But other than that, I thought it was cool. Um, you know, this one was definitely more action based. They were throwing uh, at our faces a lot of the action sequences, whereas the first one was more of a, a tonal, atmospheric trailer. So it kind of gives you, based on both of those, what you're coming into. You know, you're you're going to get this kind of somber you know, a uh, very, you know, funeral like procession of a film. And at the same time, very high adrenaline, high octane action where, you know, Namor's coming in trying to take the, the crown. And I really want to know why, why are you doing that Namor? Right. You know, how, what's going to happen for you sure. Know? For sure. Yeah. I'm super excited. Um, like, like I said, my anticipation for this movie keeps building. Um, I have real, um, real faith that this will, this will be um, that perfect closing we need to the um, to the year for comic book movies because we started with the Batman, right? Mm-hmm. And it's it's like the best thing we've gotten all year, and then everything's kind of been blah. I mean, even Black Adam, as fun as it was, is nothing like the back the Batman. And so I think this really could give us a cap to uh, uh, have a a real movie that's mm-hmm. not you know just you know, this or that and checking boxes. But, um, and I think that's going to be good for us. Uh, you know, I seen someone on the uh, channel the other day had commented and said something about, uh, the superhero genre really needs a boost at the box office mm-hmm. because everything has kind of been, you know, in this down wave this year. So, so yeah, so I'm hoping that, um, this has got people more excited and people want to go out and see this. I mean, this looks fun guys. I mean, we should, we should all be excited, um, to go see this. Don't forget. Also, this is it. Mm, <laughs> yeah, this comes out guys this is it i mean we, we we're sitting for a couple months i mean unless you're you know just jonesing for some more avatar which i know you all are um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah unless you're just jonesing for that then this is it um until you know early um <clears throat> next year 2023 so <clears throat> we really got to enjoy it um and uh, look forward to it, and you know it may not be as good as we want it to be, and that's fine. We'll determine that when we get there. But until then, we got to be excited about it because, like I said, it's all we have la- left um, after Black Adam is is just Wakanda forever, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. So, yeah, super excited. Um, glad uh, that they uh, uh, gave us a little more details about what's going on with Namor and the situation, and I can't wait to. Uh, to really, like Shane said, get to the bottom of what his true intentions are and why and what, you know, what is the, and I think I'm telling you, Shane, I think when we see it, we're going to have, we're going to be like, damn, mm. damn, you know, I feel like that's what they're going to go for. So I trust Ryan Coogler, um, you know, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, and I hope they're able to uh, honor him. That's all that really matters to me. So, yeah. That being said, guys, don't forget to go get out your uh, get get your white costume outfits picked out. Um, you know, make sure you bring a towel. Don't want to ruin all that white mm-hmm. with all your tears. <laughs>